Good evening, YouTube. Brewed by me. Back again. Another review. Now I'm going to be reviewing Royal Extra Stout. Imported Bold Taste. 6.6% ABV. It's an imported stout. Brewed um, <clears throat> by the Cara Brewery Limited in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes product of Trinidad and Tobago so uh, great texture smooth balanced for performance there's a bunch of writing here in the back but I don't feel like reading it it's a pretty cool cap pretty cool label even the back label is not bad um, so extra stiff so let's give her a whirl let's see what we get 330 milliliters I don't have a, a royal glass so I'm going to use my mill street pretty dark in color can't really see through it there is a slight bit of red on the edges um, two fingers of head it's kind of like a tan chocolate milk kind of head very very tiny bubbles nice carbonation on the glass as you can see let's give her a smell There is a kind of a sweetness there. A slight bit of chocolate, a slight bit of coffee, a slight bit of roasted barley. A tiny bit of caramel. And that's about it for smell. I can't smell anything else. The head sticking around. It looks nice in the glass. I've never had this beer before, so let's give her a whirl, see what she tastes like. Wow. Not too bad, not too bad, uh, not great, not bad. Nice sweet, nice um, sweet malt. Nice bit of roastiness and nice bit of toastiness. Fairly sweet. Picking up some chocolate. And some coffee. Some kinds of dark fruit. Dates, figs maybe. But there's this kind of weird candy taste. I don't know what it is. It's maybe it's because the bottle's old. I don't know. It's like a, a sweet uh, kind of artificial candy kind of taste. And then there's a slight bit of metallic there. Anyways, that's what the, that's what it tastes like. Um, so you take a swig, boom, you get the sweetness. <clears throat> the, it's a very nice sweetness. As it rolls back, you get that medium body, light carbonation. As it hits the back, that's when the chocolate and the coffee and the dark fruits come out. And that slight, very, very slight bit of uh, bitterness comes out. And then the aftertaste is kind of like that. Our, excuse me, artificial candy metallic kind of taste, excuse me. Uh, 
Um, it's not great, but it's not bad. Um, it's probably a good stout, I guess, to to give a whirl for the first time because it is fairly uh, sweet and aromatic and kind of tasty, but at the same sense as there's just something about it that artificial candy metallic taste that I'm picking up is not the I'm not liking it too much but the rest of the beer is fine um, I don't know it doesn't uh, I don't know when they're when they bottled it or I don't see any expiry date or anything on it so I don't know even the cap doesn't have anything on it, so... You would think that they're... Oh! Best before March 2012. Oh, well. Maybe that's why, because it says it's best before March, and we're now uh, May. So that's two months past its due date. But, you know what? Two months past its due date is still... It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, maybe if I would have drank it in March, it would have tasted a lot better. Um, but whatever, it's a stout. It's not bad, not great. Um, if you want to try a stout, give it a whirl. If you don't want to try a stout, don't worry about it. You're not going to miss out on anything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, malt profile. You got your two row is your base malt, and then you got some roasted barley, some crystal malt, some caramel malt, some chocolate malt, and some black patent malt. Um, hops, I'm gonna say uh, um, <clears throat> maybe uh, palisade or perlay or. Uh, something like that anyways anyways I hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment subscribe leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box and I will get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching bye